Hey, welcome back to Emank 30 TV. I am your host, Eric Mank, and I am on the road again with Ala Pilipinas. This time, we're in Macau. You heard it, we are in Macau because we have a game against the Macau Black Bears on Wednesday. Another big game, Macau's right in the middle of the standings. I think they're fourth right now, we are first. They have two electrifying guards in Anthony Tucker who leads the league in points and assists and Mike McKinney. McKinney's another scorer, a Phil Lamb that has just been lighting up the scoreboard this year and last. Two of the better guards in the league. Miss Travel has been crazy, flying in and out. I'm in Manila for a day and a half, and then we're off to Macau, play here. I'm in Manila for a day before we head to Singapore. This is going on two full straight months. We've had this crazy schedule. I can't imagine what it's like to be a player and having to play with uh, the travel and kind of weird sleeping habits that we have. Thank goodness we have a very young team, but me as an older guy, I'm as a coach, I'm glad I'm coaching. But Macau is an interesting place. I don't know a ton about Macau, except that it's very near Hong Kong. I know like 15 years ago, nothing was here. Then all of a sudden they started building resorts and casinos and hotels, and now they've made it into a bit of a mini Las Vegas. Now, it's not quite Las Vegas, but the Asian version of a watered down Las Vegas. A lot of entertainment comes through Macau, so it's kind of a neat place, which is why I brought the vlog camera and see what's out there. I'm gonna go take a quick look. Right now I'm in like a mall that's attached to like four hotels here in Kotai Central, Kotai Central. I feel like these Asian names, I'm butchering them left and right. I apologize if I'm getting them wrong, but I'm trying here. Anyway, let's see what's out on these streets. nice kind of neat there are some big resorts here it's a little better than I thought it was gonna be some of the resorts are stunning when you get up close to them but it's not nearly as busy inside the casinos and the resorts is busy but there's not as much foot traffic or car traffic either but uh, it was nice to get out and get some fresh air check out the scenery here in Kotai Central the strip here in Macau time to rest up game day tomorrow Get ready for hopefully win number 17. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, well today is game day. We're getting ready to play the Macau Black Bears. We're gonna have our hands full. And this is the second best three point shooting team in the league. So they have big guys that can shoot. They have other guys that can make open shots. So we have to get out there and defend and really guard against their fast break and also defend the three point line. If we do those things and contest shots, we should be in pretty good shape because we'll have an inside advantage with PJ and Ball. In a few hours, we're gonna be off to the game. We'll see how it goes tonight. Life in the ABL, I don't even know what day it is. You get a little delirious. You're at the airport, you're checking into hotels, you're playing games, you're leaving, you're home for a day. 
and you're off to someplace else to play. Looking forward to seeing how the team performs tonight. Tonight did not go as planned. Macau really put it on us today. and We took our fourth loss of the season to Macau. We lost 116-103. We just got off to a rough start. It was 38 to 11 in the first quarter. We struggled offensively, struggled, really struggled defensively. You know, they were up 25 at the half. I think it was it was over 20 points for most of the game. Fourth quarter, we were able to bring it back down. But Mike McKinney, a guy that uh, I talked about earlier, lit us up for 40 points. Tucker had, I think, 22 and 15 assists. So they just outplayed us. Our defense wasn't good enough. You know, Macau's the number one offensive team in the league, and they showed why. It was unfortunate because there was some good Filipino support. There's a lot of Filipinos came out to support us, and. We just had a rough showing in the first quarter and that set the tone for the rest of the game. And you know, we played them even or even, even beat them by 14 points the rest of the way. But whenever you go down 38 to 11, it's tough to come back. So credit to them. We got them two more times. Oh, we're looking forward to seeing them. We'll probably see them in the playoffs, but we got to recoup because we have another game against Singapore and hopefully we'll fare much, much better. All for now, we fly out tomorrow night. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, of course last night was a rough one. Did not feel good about the game last night. Still don't feel good about it today. You know, when, when things go bad and adversity strikes, sometimes it's very easy to overreact. You question some of the things that are going on with the team. You overreact and wonder, oh, how are we gonna beat those guys? They kicked our ass so convincingly yesterday. And Mike McKinney looked like an NBA All-Star, and while he's a very good player, we have to find a way to stop him. The good news is, is though, is we are in first place. I still believe in our team. We get to play them two more times in the regular season, so we gotta figure out how to beat them and how to stop them. Our defense has to improve against them. And even when you play good defense against players like Tucker and McKinney, they can still make tough shots. Uh, guess what? The world did not end. The sun came up today and I get to travel back home to see my family, and I still feel very confident about our chances and our team. So that's the good news. But we're gonna head back to Manila here in about an hour, so I'd like to thank the Holiday Inn at Kotai Central for their hospitality. I'd like to thank Air Asia getting us to and from Macau, and I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and don't forget to hit the notification bell 
to get updated on my upcoming videos. The ABL grind is real, the travel is real, but it's also fun and challenging, and I'm happy to bring you guys along with. I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.